freaks and germaphobes, what's up you guys? Today I'm gonna go over four things in your kitchen that you think you don't need to clean that you really should be cleaning. But first, if you're new to Clean Freak and Germaphobe, we are all about cleaning and organizing and disinfecting. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of our future videos. So I know everybody's in a hurry. We have a ton of things to do in our life, so I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's get started. Number one, the dishwasher. You know, I totally used to think that since the dishwasher is washing my dishes, the actual dishwasher is being washed every single day. Nope, that is not true. Over time, grease, and soap scum, and food debris builds up in the dishwasher. And this makes the perfect breeding ground for germs and bacteria. And it also reduces the efficiency of the appliance itself, especially the dishwasher filter. All dishwashers will have one or more filters to remove food particles from the wash water during the cycle. These filters are typically self-cleaning, but these filters can become clogged and we recommend that you check them once a month. How to clean your dishwasher. We simply need to take out the filter and wash it. As far as cleaning the dishwasher itself, Number one, put vinegar in the dishwasher. Start with an empty dishwasher and place a cup of vinegar in a dishwasher safe container and put it on the upper rack of the machine. Run the dishwasher through a hot water cycle and this will wash away any grease and grime and remove any musty smells. Step two, baking soda rinse. So sprinkle one cup of baking soda across the bottom of the dishwasher. Run a short hot water cycle. The dishwasher will be fresh smelling and have a bright and stain free interior. Yay! <laughs> or you can use a third party cleaner like a fresh. A fresh washer cleaner removes and prevents odor causing residue that can occur in all washers. While bleach only kills odor causing bacteria, leaving behind the detergent residue. A fresh washer cleaner uses surfactant chemistry to remove the root problem. A fresh cleaner is a formulated slow dissolving foaming tablet that gets under the residue. It breaks it up and washes it away, leaving the washer smelling fresh and clean. Number two, drains and garbage disposals. Did you know that pouring boiling hot water down your drain once a week to help prevent clog causing buildup, but you should also do a deeper cleaning once a month. This helps eliminate weird kitchen smells coming from your sink. You can use just baking soda and vinegar. You got it. The same thing that your kid uses for a science project, you know, where they're erupting the volcano, that keeps your kitchen drain clean. So step one, Pour a pot of boiling hot water down the drain. This will loosen up any sludge that is stuck in the bottom of your drain. Step two, add one cup of baking soda into the drain. You want to let this sit for a few minutes to maximize its effectiveness. This will also help to loosen up the sludge. Step three, next, pour a mixture of one cup vinegar and one cup hot water into the drain. Cover the drain with a plug to ensure that the chemical reaction is kept down, jolting the clog loose and restoring flow. Let that sit for at least 30 minutes. Step four, pour one last cup of hot water down your drain and then you're all done. I recommend that you repeat this process once a month. Number three, an oven. Now many people never think of cleaning their oven or only like doing it once a year, but the longer you wait to clean it, the harder it will be, I guarantee it. Keeping up with it with monthly cleanings is the best way to make sure that your oven stays in good working order. You can lessen the work of cleaning a grimy and gross oven by wiping it down once a week or at least once a month. The process is super simple and you don't need a self cleaning oven. This one is not. So step one, vacuum out the crumbs. Step two, Spray Easy Off Professional Fume Free Max Oven Cleaner. I know that's a mouthful. And follow the directions on the can. Then use a pumice stone for those tricky spots. So if you follow our channel, you know Janet, and she was bound and determined to find the very best way to clean the oven. And this is it. If you'd like to see some of her other test ovens that she did with other processes, we'll put that in the video description down below. After testing multiple different options, found that this was by far the best and it didn't fill your home with stinky fumes. And then finally, step three, rinse it out with some vinegar and water in a spray bottle and then wipe it down with a cloth. We'll put a link to that product in the video description, but definitely go check out Janet's videos. She put a lot of work in figuring out what works the very best. Finally, the trash can. Now I am not gonna squat down and uh, show you the trash can from down there. This is something I can lift up in my pregnant body 
can't do any more squatting today. So if you've ever noticed a lingering smell coming from your garbage can, even after you've taken out the trash, it might be time to clean it out. We have a lemon and vinegar cleaner formula recipe that's a safe, all natural cleaner that you can use in the garbage can or the counter trap or really anything that you like. We'll put a link for that recipe in the video description down below. I'm not gonna make that for you today, but what I want you to do is put on some rubber gloves and spray the inside of the can with disinfectant. Scrub it with a brush and then rinse it out. You can add some essential oils to the bottom of the can to make it smell even better. Another alternative is to use force of nature cleaning solution. If you've seen any of our videos about force of nature, I'm absolutely in love with it. It's a very natural, safe, a non-toxic cleaner that is as safe to use as bleach and it actually acts as a very good deodorizer. I've done a review about it. I'll put that in the link in the video description below. Go ahead and check that out. Make sure to clean the outside of the garbage can. I actually had to turn this trash can so you didn't see that little spill that happened, I don't know, sometime in the last week. So make sure to clean out the outside of the trash can as well, just so that it looks nice on the outside. These kind of spills happen all the time in my house, people. My son plays on a basketball team, yet somehow he can't seem to make a shot into the garbage can. So there, now your house should be smelling clean and fresh. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative for you. If it was, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Guys, we help you clean. We teach you about organization, about how to disinfect. This is a great channel. We have a lot of fun, so be sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you be notified of your future videos. Share this video with anybody that you think that this will help them as well. Up next, we'll put a video about cleaning and organizing your car all with Dollar Tree items. You don't wanna miss it, click on that and we'll see you over there.